official newspaper files of the early West record many of famous and notorious characters of that period. Joaquin Murrieta, a bandit who operated in California during the gold rush days. Especially was raiding the small gold camps in the Mother Lode country. And he showed no mercy to the immigrants that had moved into California. In order to stop Murrieta, a posse of vigilantes under Captain Harry Love, an ex cavalry officer, was organized. Late one evening, they thought at last they had the bandit cornered. Too far. We only got about a half hour till sundown. Spread out. Well, come in. Come in, stranger. Come in out of the cold. Buenas noches, senor. I am lost then. My horse, he broke his leg. Well, sit down. I'll fetch you some grub. You are a miner? That's right. Been at it for 40 years. Just about to quit. Just like it rich. <laughs> Not rich, friend, but enough to take care of me. You're very lucky. Yeah. Is that your horse in the shed? Yeah. I'm going to borrow him. Well, I'm glad he loaned him to it. Uh, I need him here in the hills. I'm sorry, but I must take him. Uh, look, uh, I'll give you food and lodging, and I'll get you a horse tomorrow. Tomorrow, my friend. Oh. It's too late. Love? That's right. My name's Matt Clark, railroad detective. This is my partner, Frankie Adams. I've been expecting you. Won't you sit down? All right, Captain, let's get down to business. As you know, the railroad's been buying property throughout California. We intend to lay track right away. But first, this outlaw that's been robbing our wagons and killing our people must be stopped. We've been chasing Murrieta for months. He's like a shadow. Sun goes down, he disappears. But we think we can bait a trap for Murrieta. Is it true that everyone that's tried to buy the old hacienda has been scared off? That's right. Wait until he hears his hacienda has been sold for taxes. Who bought it? The railroad. But for the time being, we like for everybody to think Miss Adams owns it. Does he still have a reputation for the ladies? Oh, so your plan is the woman's angle. Yes, he has quite a reputation. It might work. I'm going to be her foreman. We'd like for everybody in town to know about this. I'll get the vigilantes out right away. We'll get to work on it. does not forget. Oh, that is beautiful. Maria, when I take all the gold from the gringos, maybe someday, who knows, I marry you, if you're lucky. I pick up a lot of gold else this trip. Let me see it. I put it with the other gold in our hiding place. Hi, right, Jack, have a drink. I have much to tell you. Joaquin, I just came from town. Then you need a drink. No, but you will when I tell you the latest news. Tell me the worst, amigo. I am prepared. Your old hacienda's been sold. You lie. No one has the right to sell it. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. And besides, our gold is buried there. You forget you've not paid taxes and you've been declared an outlaw with a price on your head. Who bought it? Somebody named Adams. A gringo! 
No one but a Murrieta will ever live in the Hacienda. This I swear. We gotta move our gold. Ah, the gold will be safe. No one will get as far as the Hacienda. Get back to town and keep your eyes open. And we'll gather the rest of the men. We bought supplies at the general store. This gave Captain Love time to get his men hidden out at the Hacienda and wait for Murrieta to show up. The man going with us was another vigilante who knew the way. Three more. And maybe only two. One is a woman. Captain Love's men are waiting at the house down to get the back and stay down. I think we can have them. He would move into my hacienda. Please don't shoot. He has nothing to do with the ranch. He's only the driver. Please don't kill him. He's done nothing. I'm the new owner. You can have the ranch. Money. Anything you want. A pretty girl like you does not have to offer money for her life. Kill him and let's get out of here. No. Do not kill him. The senorita has touched my heart. Vamanos. Montan en sus caballos. Hacienda Murrieta. Hey! So you would fall in love with an Americana with blonde hair? I didn't say anything about falling in love. I only said she's the one that bought the ranch from the government. Your jealousy will put you in the grave. Great Joaquin Murrieta. One girl is not enough. You must have many. Someday one of them will bring your death. Hey, you better come with me. I don't trust you with the senorita. Stay here with her. Here. This will make you feel better. Where are you from? Back east. Were you planning to run the ranch by yourself? No, I... I had intended to hire a foreman. Do you think I could handle a job? Well, uh, I... Uh, I don't know. You 
You might as well hire me. You're gonna be my girl, not Marietta's. The great lover's got too many now. Where's the senorita? She took a horse and rode away. Please, Joaquin, don't go after her. She's bad luck. Joaquin! At daybreak, Captain, I think we better start looking higher in the mountains. I wouldn't worry about Miss Adams too much. Joaquin has an eye for a pretty girl. I'm sure he won't hurt one. Frankie. No, Murrieta may not harm a woman. But he had a lieutenant there called Three-Fingered Jack that had cut my throat as soon as he would yours. I'm glad to see you. Where have you been? What's happened? Where's Marietta? And you're sure you weren't followed by Marietta? I didn't see anybody. All right, we'll go through with the original plan. You'll still move into the hacienda. And if we know Murrieta, he'll contact you again. Oh, no, he won't. Sure, I'm a detective. Sure, I get paid by the railroad. But I'm also a woman. And I don't like wrestling with three-fingered Jack. I didn't think you'd ever let us down, assignment. How would you like being chased around in a cave by a maniac? You're a detective. Why don't you go out and catch Murrieta? It looks like we'll have to go back to combing the country like we've been doing for years. You know, Captain, I've got a better idea. Why don't we send Frankie back on the next stage and find some local talent? There must be a woman around here more attractive than she is. Look at her. Just take a good look at her. All right. I'll be your guinea pig. You're right. I guess I am a mess. Come on, I'll walk you across the street to your hotel. You need some sleep. Be right back, Captain. But I warn you, do not cry out. Why do you follow me? I haven't anything of value. For your beauty, senorita. Will you go away with me to Sonora? I am not so bad. You could do worse. I don't know. Every place we'd go, the law would follow. Colonel Bigler has already offered $5,000 reward for your capture. $5,000 for the great Murrieta? That is an insult. I have 10 times that amount in gold buried with my family watching over it. I laugh at the law. I must have your answer quickly, senorita. I cannot stay long. I'll have to think it over. And your answer? All right. I'm moving into the hacienda tomorrow. Meet me there tomorrow night. When? Gracias, senorita.
tomorrow night. You were in What's bed. What's the matter? Murray Edison found. He was just in my room. Hold it, boys. You can't catch him. He's too far away by now. He kissed me. Wasn't bad, either. He said he wanted me to go to Sonora with him. What's the matter? Are you out of your mind? I don't think so. I told him to meet me at the Hacienda tomorrow night, and I'd give my answer. Smart girl. Now you talk like your old self. We'll be there waiting for him. Matt, there's something else he said that may help us. Captain, how much gold do you think Murray has stolen? Over a hundred thousand dollars. And he's killed 15 men to get it. He said he had it buried. But where? California's a big place. I don't know. But he told me his family was watching over it for him. He doesn't have any family, does he, Captain? No, they're all dead and buried in the family graveyard in back of his place. And he says the family's watching over it? That's right. Well, that means he could have buried the gold somewhere near there. Maybe that's why he doesn't want anybody around the old hacienda. All this time right under our noses. Let's go. We can be there by daylight. Joaquin, mi amor. How did you find me? I followed you from last night. I saw you in the senorita's room, the Americana. You are a fool. No one calls the great Murrieta a fool. Get out of here. If I can't have you, no one else will have you. Out of the country, Joaquin. Joaquin. Come, amigos. We changed the hiding place to the gold. The vigilantes are moving into the hacienda. Vamos. Get the gold.
get the gold and then follow me. I'm going after you. been a pleasure knowing you two. I can't tell you and Miss Adams what a wonderful job you've done for California. I know that you're not permitted to accept any part of the reward, but I'll see that Governor Bigler sends you both a special commendation. Well, thanks, Captain, but you should look at it our way, too. The death of Murrieta means a great deal to the railroad company for which we work and to those Americans who came west to build California. Well, come on, Matt. We have a stagecoach to catch. Oh, Frankie, I wouldn't feel too badly about Murrieta not kissing any more girls. He was a bad one. He had it coming to him. He killed a lot of men. Oh, she won't feel too badly about that. There's a lot of fellows at headquarters who can take up where Murrieta left off. That's what you think. <laughs>